So you can make various things in Blender, but in this video I'm going to show you three major effects that are very useful and you can use them in many of your projects. Let's see them. Number one on top of the list is morphing. So let's say you have two objects and you need to transform one into another. That's where this comes into use. So I am using an empty which is controlling the transformation and this effect is achieved by geometry nodes and let's see how it's done. So here I have two car collections, car 1 and car 2, alright. The first thing that you should do is place one car on top of the other, alright. Next step is to select or set origin, origin to geometry. That's step 10. Now let's hide all of these car collections and spawn in a cube. You can spawn anything, it doesn't matter. Come into geometry nodes, press new here. I'm gonna also delete this link. I'm gonna spawn in car 1 and just plug this in here all right now nothing gonna show up press relative now the car one will show up where it's supposed to and now we need to create a system where an external object is scaling these objects down all right to do that let's switch on one more option called separate children i'm gonna spawn in a scale instances node here and i'm gonna i'm gonna also get in a uv sphere for now let's place it here i'm gonna hide it in the render view and also come here you put display display as pounds and also a sphere all right now let's come back here i will spawn this sphere inside the node tree let's get in one more node called geometry proximity so what this node will do is it will give the exact location of this object which can interact with our car all right Let's plug this in here. I'm gonna also get in a math node. Set it to divide. And let's divide scale by distance. So the simple three node setup will evaluate this sphere, scale and location, which can interact with the car, all right? Now let's plug this in and see what happens into the scale option. Let's see when you plug this in now you will see the sphere is sort of reacting to it but it's not what we want to settle this down we need to add in a color ramp so that it knows its final location and its initial location let's see something like this, this is this is up to you all right now it's doing what we want it's scaling them up but to do in reverse let's reverse this color ramp if you need a stronger effect, you can of course play with the sliders. Now the, the trick is when this car is scaling down, the other cars should scale up so that it gives you an illusion that one car is transforming into another. So let's do that. So I'm just going to do the same. I'm going to drag and drop the car number two. And for, just for now, just plug this one in here. Make sure that you have selected relative and separate children. Uh, let's copy this new setup and plug this value in the scale all right now you're gonna see that this is this is also scaling it down but we want it to scale up to do that in reverse either you can use a different color ramp and flip it but to not make that mess let's use a float curve so float curve has value from 0 to 1 we can easily reverse the data from 1 to 0 by simply doing this now is scaling it up all right that is what we want now let's get in a joint geometry node and let's plug this in here and see what happens what's happening here now the other car is scaling down and one car is scaling up so it's giving an illusion that one car is transforming into another to add some more depth into this effect let's add some rotation into it i will add in rotate instances uh, let's plug this in here now i want to play with the the car ones x rotation i guess yes x rotation i'm gonna get in a combine xyz so that i can individually pick the x rotation and feed this value in here but things are gonna mess up here i'm gonna get in a map range node to control this rotation and let's set to min one to max nil let's see I think it's happening quietly like we want let's play with the minimum uh, let's take it till here let's see what's happening now and I think it's working correctly let's play with the yellow cars rotation now I'm gonna just shift the 
duplicate it and duplicate this node setup and let's plug it in here and feed this data in here but for this car this thing is going to get in reverse let's get in zero here and to max one and let's increase it now let's see now perfectly it's being replicated all right now those who want to dive deep into this effect i have a very detailed tutorial on this which you can surely check out effect number two so god forbid but if you have a skull at your home and you have to wrap it up and gift it to somebody so this effect is for those all right so let's check it out so here i have a mesh like this and if you want to follow along either you find a skull or you can simply work on a uv sphere it doesn't matter all right first thing first shift the duplicate all right and on this duplicate press tab and i'm gonna simply press alt s and just slightly make it bigger ex by expanding along its normals all right i think this one will work all right and on this mesh press new on geometry node panel get in a set position node so i basically want it to expand along its normals i'm gonna get in a read normal node let's plug this in here and it's doing exactly what we want but let's control in in let's control it by vector math let's plug this in here and multiply set it to multiply now we can control it with this all right but we want it to take an effect with a with an external object that is a uv sphere all right let's get this in here and again the same trick let's hide it from the render and viewport display should be bounce sphere now let's work on it let's drag this in here or again the three nodes set up so after you have this three nodes set up let's get in a color ramp and just get this in here and let's plug it in and see what happens and now our sphere is going to react with the mesh to control this let's get these sliders a bit closer but now still there is going to be a problem like i do not want it to expand that much to do that to control that let's make some space and get in a map node and set it to multiply so that we can control the overall expansion something like this i'm fine with it so this should be its peak its peak should be this is 0.12 maybe 0 0.09 i guess that's fine that is the peak let's control let's give it some more variation by adding a float curve let's plug this in between and let's give it some style maybe something like this so float curve basically has value from 0 to 1 basically now what it's doing it it's applying its full power but i want it to somewhere apply its full power to the midpoint and come back to its original state something like this now you will see it is expanding but it is also coming down but what if i give it two more peaks in between let's see what happens now you will see our design has changed and to have some more smooth effect you can always welcome the subdivision modifier not here but here subdivision modifier and make sure you're you're applying this above the geometry nodes but it, it is of course going to toll, going to take toll on your pc so you just play with it all right now one last thing this skull should also delete itself so that we see the inner the original skull all right so to do that i'm going to get in a delete geometry node let's plug this information let's not do the same color ramp but i'm going to copy it let's give its value and plug this in here the selection now if you play with it a little you will see the skull is also deleting itself but we do, we want it in reverse let's see somewhere here i think it's fine let's see now how it's reacting so this is the whole effect you can have it reveal the original skull now if you give it more subdivision the more subdivision the better the effect so that's that effect number three the exploded view so i have a car here and i want to showcase to you all the inner part of it and every part individually 
So basically what I have done here is I am simply moving this object on Z location and you will see every other object is being relocated into a place where you can see it individually, the inside and all the different objects. So let's make this a bit. So step one is to break your product or anything into single element, individual elements. Like I have this is door, this is the front part and these are the tires. Next step is to select all control A, all transforms. This one is important. Next thing is to choose one object that should control everything. Well, for me, this, this is that object. So let's work on this door and I want this door to move along its Y location. So I'm going to come here get in an add driver and select the object that should affect it which is this come back here at a driver and let's change var into 1.2 that this, this is just hit and trial and its z location should change its y location now when i move its z location this object is moving along the y location that is what i want let's come back here now our work is 90 percent done i'm gonna just control right click copy driver and also come here paste also come here paste driver now all of this is going to take an effect but what if i want a variation into it like i do not want this door to go that far maybe i want it to go somewhere here to do that and not make a mess out of it i think you have worked on timeline and also graph editor today i will introduce you to drivers all right now let's select this door and if you press a and the decimal on your numpad you will see the whole graph i'm gonna come here select the end point and get it a bit far now i can simply do this for each of the object all right something like this now I want this to go along its X location and simply come back here, paste driver. Now I can also control this. Let's do it with the other door. And this is the Y location, let's paste driver. But this is going the other side. Let's bring it to the, the minus territory, something somewhere here. All right, now you will see each of the object is being displaced and once you have pasted the driver and all the elements it should look something like this all right so that's that i hope you gather some useful information from this video like and subscribe see you later